Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I am Grant Sangron, the Product Development Manager at Upper Deck, and we are here today to show you a bevy of uh, new cards we've got for the uh, soon-to-be-released uh, 2012 edition of Goodwin Champions. What we have here, as the camera pans down, is the entire set of all 50 1888 original Goodwin masterpieces. The theme uh, that we started last year was presidents, and obviously we did all 43 presidents. Each president had 10 hand-painted cards, and we kept that structure intact as we went into a new theme honoring the original 50-card set issued in 1888 of the Goodwin Champions. As you can see here, the camera's got uh, it on uh, Bob Andrews. That's one of the eight baseball players featured in the original set, and the eight-card baseball set is actually collected uh, quite often as a separate entity, but obviously we've got all 50 here. Uh, as the camera goes across, you can see uh, it's going to go into Dan Brothers and uh, Bob Carruthers and Fred Dunlap, uh, and kind of go across the entire top row is the eight baseball players. All eight of these baseball cards were painted by uh, one of our best artists, a guy named Ken Jodry, who we, we think his work is simply stunning. Um, you know, the, these cards are just dead on for what the original uh, 1888 Goodwin Champions cards look like. Uh, on the second row, as you scan across, uh, the set is sort of in numerical order by the uh, sport. So it goes from baseball to uh, bicyclists or bicycling. Um, and as you continue panning across, you will start to see uh, a row of billiards players. And again, each of these uh, athletes has uh, 10 copies. Um, as you can see, I'm going to show you an example of one of the cards here. Uh, it's similar to what we did last year. The number one card out of 10 it has gold borders on it. And uh, all the cards are signed on back by the artist. And the number one card, the gold border, signifies the card that the artist picked as his uh, best rendition uh, of the original card. As we continue to go down, uh, I think you are looking at the last of the billiard players uh, and going into uh, famed broad swordsman Duncan C. Ross. Um, who must have been quite a big deal back in 1888. Uh, it's just so neat to see some of these uh, athletes uh, and the set in its entirety that shows you, really gives you a flavor for what sports must have been like and a bit of culture must have been like back in 18, 120 or so years ago. Uh, the camera stopped on a pretty important card there. That is uh, Harry Beecher. He, that is the first football card ever made. Uh, that one, uh, it's a stunning rendition. It, it, Ken Jodry did all ten of those Beecher cards. Um, that's a that's a pretty important card. The original card is an extremely important card in and of itself, and uh, we think Jodry certainly uh, did it every honor uh, that we could have hoped. Uh, continuing to scan across, you, you come across high jumpers and some jockeys. Uh, there's a set of, uh, there's four different jockeys in the set, uh, and it'll move into lawn tennis, or as we call it today, just simply good old tennis. Uh, I think there's four different tennis subjects. They all sort of have a, a common theme. You can see some of the elements in the background, sort of the uh, the pink ribbons and stuff will run across uh, common themes within the sports. Uh, rowing or oaring or oarsmen, was, that was a, a big deal 120 years ago, so there's four or five different oarsmen. Uh, one of the more unique sports was the sport of pedestrianism, which was simply people walking great distances uh, with uh, thousands of people uh, gathered together to watch these guys. So um, they are, it, there's three different pedestrians there. Uh, and again, you can see the details on these cards, like the Rowell card there. The backgrounds are just very carefully painted. Um, you know, we're, we're really happy with the results that our artists got. As the, can, the camera continues to pan across, it goes into uh, one of the pool players. Uh, I think that's Alfonso de Oro. And it goes into pugilism, uh, Jack Dempsey. Um, that was the non pariel Jack Dempsey. There's uh, two different Jack Dempseys in the sport of boxing. Uh, Jake Kilrain. A lot of these guys uh, for boxing fans should be um, pretty common names. Uh, as you continue to pan across, you'll come across John L. Sullivan. He's probably the most famous boxer there uh, out of the group of boxers in this set. 
Um, and uh, to finishing up the set, you get a, a few one-shots. The Emil Voss was the world's strongest man. And uh, stopping on the Buffalo Bill card, that's one of the most famous cards in the original set. Obviously, Buffalo Bill Cody was a uh, Wild West showman uh, of the day and, and was probably one of the most famous people in America at the time. Um, again, Ken Jodry did that card, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and display all ten of those just to show you the quality of what we're um, dealing with here. Put these out here. You can see just how similar these cards are. He did an amazing job. If you look at the detail of uh, what's been painted there, it, it is just uh, a pretty, pretty awesome sight to behold. So, uh, suffice to say. I said it. I shouldn't say suffice to say. I've been told to stop saying suffice to say, but I just can't help myself. Um, suffice to say that uh, collectors uh, should be uh, pretty happy if they find one of these uh, 500 different uh, painted cards in uh, 2012 Goodwin Champions. Uh, there are zero redemptions uh, for this year's uh, painted cards. Uh, so we're happy that we managed to get all the cards collected in in-house. These will be uh, shipped off to our uh, packing facility uh, today. And um, we are looking forward to bringing you Goodwin Champions, the 2012 edition, in a few short weeks. Thanks very much for your time.